from what I've seen, I understand that this is a very proud people and they have very much reason to be proud. They have a very long history. They have a very rich culture. From the music, some of the most beautiful music I've heard, uh, the old Ukrainian folk songs, to the architecture that's here, the, the actual art that has been a blessing to the world. From Shevchenko, who I had very recently learned about, his, his words and the prophetic nature of his words, which is why, along with Shakespeare and so many other very important writers, it's why he is still relevant today and why they're celebrating him now 200 years after his birth. And this particular story which we chose to tell between an African-American actor and a Ukrainian writer who otherwise really would never, and, it, 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 and their meeting is quite remarkable because they come from two different extremities of life. America, Ukraine. The African-American hadn't experienced slavery, but he was born in a country where there was still slavery. And the Ukrainian poet experienced what is equivalent to slavery as a serf. So that, though these experiences that they share and these experiences that I, I am able to share with Ukrainians here in this country is what has really taught me so much about the culture here. It's taught me so much about people's stories in this country. And again, as an American, I, until very recently, didn't even know where Ukraine was. And I'm not proud to say that, but I know that that's still the case for many Americans. And uh, in our news, Ukraine has become more and more um, prevalent, and its presence has become more and more known because of the turmoil that's going on here in this country. But it's important for us to learn why these things are happening, why these events are taking place, why people are dying in the streets, why people are being wounded and dying in hospitals. Um, and of course, this is happening all over the world, and we who choose to take up the call to want to change the world, and we who choose to be called artists, we have a responsibility, therefore, to become aware of all of these things, and not only become aware, but then to do something 